What's up, guys? Hoje eu tô aqui com minha irmã. Hey. Mary, que vocês uh, já conheceram no outro vídeo E a Michelle, que vocês já conhecem também E aí? Então hoje vai ser um vídeo muito especial porque é um desafio Eu vou explicar em inglês para minha irmã agora Michelle has some Brazilian expressions that are kind of... Uh, you won't be able to get the meaning of them right away uh -huh. She's going to translate them to English Say them to us, and then we have to try and guess what the meaning of the expressions are. Okay. Make sense? <laughs> mm -hmm. Are we playing against each other? Yeah. yeah. So that we're going we're gonna to do 10 expressions, and Michelle's going to start us off. Okay, the first one in Portuguese is enfiar o pé na jaca, and in English is to stick your foot in the jackfruit. Okay, first of all, what is a jackfruit? I know what a jackfruit is. Okay, it's a fruit. <laughs> Just, just think. Cool. Just think as a big fruit. Okay. okay. Um, so I'm gonna say that it means to do something that you shouldn't do. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think it means when you say something you shouldn't have said, and then you say, oh, "Stick your foot in the jackfruit." Ooh. Like you said something you shouldn't have said. That's a good guess. That's a good guess, but it's also not that. Okay. What does this? What does it mean? So, in the website, the saying is to commit excess. Really? Whether it's with alcohol or food, Brazilians use this expression when someone goes beyond their limit. Ah. Like when somebody drinks too much. Yeah. Stick your stick... foot in the jackfruit, you yeah. got too much alcohol. <laughs> I'm going to start using it's that. It's like stick a fork in me, I'm done. Kind of. That's an American saying. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, All right, next. so one point for me. No, no what? <laughs> No points here. No points yet. Uh, okay. Uh, in Portuguese, this one is a vaca foi pro brejo, and in English, the cow is in the swamp. In the swamp. Swamp. Yeah. All right. Good luck, Mirror Bear. The cow is in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. It means like you're out of place. Like you don't belong there. Why can't a cow be in a swamp? Because I'm saying it's like a cow is in a swamp. Like that doesn't make sense. You don't belong there. Do no. cows not go in swamps? Like you in a shopping mall is a cow in a swamp. No, I'm saying that why can't a cow be in a swamp? They don't live in the swamp. But they can okay. go in a swamp. Okay, okay. It's, it's wrong anyway. anyway. Oh. No. Okay, I'm going to say when you get yourself into a situation and it's, it's like in over your head. Like the situation is too, too much for you. Not exactly, but it got close. Here it says something's gone really wrong. No. no yeah, know. that's the same thing. In over your head. A little. No. I get no. half a point. Okay, you can have half a half point. Half a point. Yeah, because you're like pretty okay. close, but it's not exactly your. Okay, next. Okay, in Portuguese, Casa da Mãe Joana. And in English, Mother Joana's house. Marijuana's house? No. Wait, what? Mother. <laughs> Marijuana's house? Jo Joana's is a name. Who Joana is Joana? Is a name. Oh. It's a name. It, it sounded like so, she was saying Mary Joana. It's like mother. <laughs> it not sound like yes, that at all. <laughs> it's like Mother Mary house, okay. Mary's house. The, the, the name is it Mother Mary, Mary's house no. or Joanna? It's Joanna. Who is Joanna? It doesn't matter it for the... It obviously does the, matter. Not for the expression. I think we Let's skip this one. Yeah, we should definitely yeah. skip this one. Okay. okay. One part, point right? for me. No. No. What? You're cutting this part out. Because <laughs> no. I'm playing with my hair too much. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Next one. Okay. In Portuguese, pensar na morte da bezerra. English to think about the heifer's death. Heifer's? Heifer. Heifer. Age. Think about the heifer's death. Age. What's e a heifer? A cow. Oh, I knew that. Yeah. yeah. To think about the heifer's death. Yeah. Um, so I think this means to, like, when you're eating food, you're thinking, like, you think about how the cow died to get the food no. and then you and then you don't want to eat the food not, anymore not even close no. but that was a good guess right it was but it's not close i think it means you have no do guess do something wrong <laughs> your mom says think about the heifer's death go. oh good one you're in big trouble no oh. it's to be distracted so oh like when someone God. is distracted what? you ask like oh are you thinking about the cows or Heifer. Heifer is death. 
It's like, I just, you too Duh. distracted. Obviously. Why did we not get that one? <laughs> <laughs> but like, it does make a little of sense. Does a it? Little, does a, it? A teensy tiny little bit. All right, okay, next, next one. Okay, next one, Portuguese. Um espírito de porco. And in English, a pig's spirit. A pig spirit. A pig spirit. Okay, so this is when... <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you are out having drinks and dinner with a friend and you get a little too crazy. They say you have a pig spirit. Oh, really? Is that what they say? <laughs> No, it's wrong. Okay. Uh. Shock, shocker. <laughs> I'm going to say it's when, uh, if somebody tells you you have a pig spirit, it means that you are always being optimistic and ha like excited about the si a situation. God, exactly the opposite. A dirty character, someone always trying to pick a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Negative one. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? It's because pigs are like dirty animals and then but they're not like, dirty animals actually they're, they're actually very, I, they're no, very I know, hygienic but like, animals they're always in the mud and stuff so yeah but yeah. do they go to the swamp <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, this one in portuguese a última bolacha do pacote and in english the last cracker in the bag the last biscoito or bolacha bolacha <laughs> here it says bolacha um the last cracker in the bag it means that you want to like savor something and treasure the last like something that you have. No, no. I think it means. Okay, let's hear your guess <laughs> then, Mary. This is like when you're not very smart and you're always finishing last, or you're not very fast. You're the last cracker in the bag. Exactly the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's awesome, extremely attractive. So, you know, like, oh, because it's the last the best one, oh. everybody it's like fights the best for last. Yeah, and like, everybody fights the last one because the last one. Yeah, that so, makes like, sense. you're gonna say, oh, you think you're the last cracker of the bag? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense, right? That, that, that one doesn't. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Next one in Portuguese, dar sopa. In English, to give soup. That means you're very generous. No. No. <laughs> 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 um, it means to eat whatever you have available to eat because there's starving people in the world. That's a good guess, but it has nothing to do with it. It's to lead someone on. What? Like to flirt back. What was it? To make soup? To, to give soup. To give soup. Oh, that kind of makes sense. I'm it's giving easy. you soup. I'm, I'm leading you on. Okay, Brazilians consider soup an easy food, easy to make and easy to digest. If you're letting someone hit on you or even flirting back, you're definitely giving soup. Hmm. All right. That's good to know. That is a... Oh. <laughs> For what? Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't give soup to girls in Brazil. Uh-huh. And then... You better not be giving soup. I'm not... My soup is only for you, Michelle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, next one, tirar o cavalinho da chuva. In English, to take the little horse away from the rain. Uh, like take it out of the rain? Yeah. Okay, good luck. To take the little horse out of the rain. <laughs> these are, these so are impossible. To take the little horse out of the rain. Out of your comfort zone. So you go do something that you've never tried before. It's taking the horse out of the rain. But the, why would the horse be comfortable in the rain? <laughs> so wait, it's getting out of your comfort zone? She was close? Yeah. No, wait. Out it's getting out of your comfort zone. So doing something you're not really comfortable with is like getting the horse out of the rain. No, that's oh. not it. Why would the horse be comfortable in the rain? I don't know, Brian, none of these really are making sense. <laughs> <laughs> Just you go. No, it was a really good guess. It was a really good guess. It yeah, was. it was. Okay. I so almost no, got Brian. confused here. Okay. Now you're um, going to steal what I was going to uh, say. You're damn right I am. <gasps> I think it means when somebody is in a situation or they're doing something they're not comfortable with and then they get out of it, you take or like you get somebody out of that situation. Because the whore, little horse isn't comfortable in the rain. You fight over, but it's to give up on something. No, you didn't. No, it's no. not the same. No, no. Okay. I just got it. No. Yeah. Okay. 
Next one. Okay. Cuidar da vida dos outros. To take care of other people's lives. It means to not be selfish. No. It means to be too nice. <laughs> what? No. I don't know. I have no idea. To gossip. Oh. Like you're taking care of other people's lives and uh, you gossip. That makes sense, right? Mm. Kinda. Okay. Uh, Passar-lhe a perna in Portuguese and in English to pass a leg under you. Like to kick your legs out from under you? Yeah, like that. Mm. This means when you're really in love and someone passes a leg under you. What? You fall over because you're so in love. <laughs> that's such a cute guess. What are you what? I always want to give her a half point, but that's not, it's not that. Of course not. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, so what is it, what Brian? Is it um, obviously, it's when somebody cheats you out of something like you're about to get something and then somebody comes along and kicks your leg out from under you and cheats you <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> it's here it says to trick you but yeah to cheat uh, you. no <laughs> but mine was so much nicer <laughs> thanks for playing it was fun all right well thanks again for joining me mary thanks for helping with the video of michelle of Espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo, espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau. Tchau. tchau.